不能，你有诈。It's your boy Neo, the tragic tale of a young player shot down in his prime. Check it out. Like the record came about,、um, I was in my studio and just made a beat. Went to see Neo. He heard it like, wow, this is crazy.、And、he just cut it. Actually, did two records. That was just the one we kept, and you know. I let you get it, and it just exploded from there. Like it went from you straight to radio, which is like unheard of.、Mm-hmm. So that's that's pretty dope. I think it's going. I think it's going to grow legs. That's you know. Can't wait to see what happens. What we do is my blue eyes. You know, project of ten weeks, consecutive weeks of records. You know, of notable artists. And you know, I produce I produce all the records, and you know, we're just gonna take it. You know, take over the blogs with it. Because like fans like instant stuff, so that's why the internet is like dope right now. For that. And it's like just to really build and show the activity of me, and it can you know it's gonna grow into an album. You know this is just like the teaser, the warm up, and you know it's gonna grow to an album and it's gonna be real dope. You know, we got Neo, we working with Bado and Cam, and I can't do everybody. Okay. Some some of them got to be like surprised.、Yeah, yeah, we got、yeah. we got a lot of people. You know, I know a lot of people, and we just making records and whatever you know fits the ten week span. You know, we're gonna put them out. Listen out for Guap, produced by Ski Beats. Those are my records. Ooh la, that's right. Wow, I definitely got a warm list because I'm you know I'm getting hits from whoever come my way. So I like Ricky Rose. You know Rick Ross. He's getting busy right now. I like Wiz. He throw Wiz Khalifa. Drake. He's killing them. Nicki. Wow. I gotta get with Nicki. Nicki. Call me. Nicki Minaj. She gets. She gets busy. So yeah. Like it's a lot of people I want to work with. You know. We just gotta make it happen. You know. It'll, it'll happen soon enough. Coming straight to you. At you heard that new. This is Bula. I'm on my second look right now. Behind the scenes. Get my fresh on. And this is what I do. You know. After the beats, I, I throw my swag on, and that's what it is. Take notes. How producers are? Are any producers impressing you? Yeah, yeah, I like a lot of the guys out there, man. Like all the, all the names, like they really getting busy. Like you know what I mean? Like I look up to these guys to be honest. You know what I mean? So these guys are really doing their things. Swiss, Kanye, just all these guys, they just killing it right now. It's, yeah, Let's talk about you know where she was, where, where you found her, and where you kind of go with her, and what's her sound, and what's so unique about her. Well, I kind of think like everything happens for a reason, so it's almost like destiny. How cliche that might sound, but it really, like it really opened my creativity up. You know, working with Mitsu because like I'm known for like doing a lot of hard hip hop joints.、Uh, R&B joint, but when I got with her, it's like I really got to my roots of like what I grew up to, like listening to you know funk songs and just like rock songs and everything. You know what I mean? It's just like everything came out far as me playing and just creating new sounds and writing new records and you know 'cause I write as well, so you know it just really like opened my mind up to work with her. But she's a little different than everybody else. You know what I mean? She's not so far to the left where she's gonna get left out or nothing like that. But it's a little different. That's why I chose to work with her because she brings that out of me, and we make those kind of records. You know what I mean? You you you, you can hear it, the inspiration in the records though. Like okay, I see where they're going. But it's different than what people are doing because people are like, it's like the industry make make you make a certain kind of record. And I think I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm doing something else. And like the fans determine what's hot, not like the label. So I'm just I'm trying I'm trying all kind of stuff right now. I like power right now, Kanye. I like how he chop that. I like always listen to guys how they chop samples up and stuff. I like power right now. That's the first thing I can think of. Power is dope. I like how because I listen to how they I listen to the original and I'm like damn how he do this and it just came out crazy. Yeah, like with the old school drums and you beef 'em up. It's like that shit is hot. All right, I'm the bun, my man, Chris. You know me and Chris, we go back. 
Actually, we got two on there with fun. It's like a snippet at the end. It's, that's that's a surprise right there. He gonna let you have it on that one. So yeah, we got a record coming out with fun. You know, you'll see the title once it drop. Chris on there. We we'll probably do some more stuff with Chris. You know what I mean? He's got a new situation. So congratulations to him. You know, we got we just, we just about to get busy right now. Man. Being with Rockefeller, first off was just dope for me, you know what I mean? Because I was definitely a fan, I'm still a fan of Rockefeller, like, that was a dope time for music. You know, it was like historical, like, for those guys really take what they did to the next level. It's like my most memorable moment would have to be, it really doesn't even have to do with music, it's like flying on those jets, like, that was fun, like, because I like going to the, to the clear porch without going through no check and none of that, just hopping right in the joint. So that was dope for me because I, I didn't ever experience that to then. So that was really dope. Is Bula underrated? I don't know if I am rated. I don't know. I never really check and ask nobody like that. Like, because I'm in my own world. Like, I design how I'm going to do, do, do what I do. So I don't know. I guess we will see how I'm rated, you know, once, once this new run happens because. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. We'll see. Do you, you, you care about being ready? No, I really don't. Because everybody is like up and down. Like you're not gonna drop a crazy joint every time. So you might be up this week. Next week you might be funny. But I feel I'm, I feel I can stand up to anybody. So you know, let let them let them figure it out. Wow, 2011 is you're gonna see a lot of boo lock. You're gonna hear a lot of records. You're even gonna hear me on records. I'm putting out, I got a song coming out, a few records, my first joint is called I'm the Man, so you definitely gonna see that. Definitely gonna see a lot of production from Bula, with a lot of your favorite artists, you know what I mean? And Mitsu, that's the groundbreaker right there. She's gonna change the game, you know, because I put a lot of energy and time into that, so I'm really focusing on her. So you're gonna see that for 2011. Yo, what's up, world? This is Boo Live, produced by Boo Live Project. And you heard that new, or oh, you heard that new. Holla at me. Right. Yo, what's up, world? This is Boo Live. You know, follow me on Twitter at Boo Live Got Beats. That's B O O L A G O T B A T S. You can follow your boy, Low Key, at twitter.com backslash Low Key U H T N. You heard that new all day. That new. Is that cool? Yeah.